poisonous pudding. Are you kidding me? So Simon must have gotten sick from his constant exposure to it? Well, what kind of idiot would intentionally put poison in their own product? These two chemicals have been known to fake the appearance of a higher protein content. Which is Pudding Plus's biggest selling point. But wouldn't people eventually realize that it's poisonous? I mean, the company would lose everything. Not necessarily. If you have hundreds of millions of dollars and you get sued for a couple of million, you still have hundreds of millions of dollars. But people die. Yeah, well, it's the same calculation the car manufacturers make when they find out they have faulty airbags, which costs them less recalling the car or enduring the lawsuits. Yeah, but why would Simon try to sell the formula to Grace if it was killing him? Unless he didn't. Maybe when he found out what he created, he was just trying to stop it. And who better to expose Pudding Plus's dirty secret than their biggest competitor? But Simon didn't know the two companies were merging. Soon they won't be in competition. Suddenly everyone has motive to keep Simon quiet. Adrian, Grace, and the Fixer. Three potential killers. And as the merged company's counsel, you represent all of them. Charlotte, where are you going? To join the Peace Corps, donate my entire savings to an orphanage, and build a shelter for blind, one-legged puppies. Well, as long as you're not being overdramatic. I thought delivering those tapes would help clear my ledger. But instead, it just revealed that I could be defending three guilty people? If that's true, how guilty does that make me? This isn't a good time. I know how you've been treating Dan. Okay, now I want you to know that I got his back. What does that mean? I used to see a light in you. But now, I don't know, something's different. All I see now is darkness. Oh, there you are. Where'd you run off to? Just needed to clear my head. You think Charlotte will be all right? Yeah. Why wouldn't she be? That woman's like a rock. Like a very mean, scary, hot, well-dressed rock. Yes, well, you'd be surprised, Detective. Okay. Well, now that we know all three suspects have the same motive, money, I looked into the company's financials to see who had the most to lose if the merger failed. And get this, it's none of our three. You really think I killed Simon? Lala, we know you stood to gain hundreds of thousands of dollars in vested stock options once those two pudding companies merged. That's a lot of money. For you, obviously. But uh, it all would have disappeared had Simon revealed the truth behind his illness. You, you mean Simon really was sick? You knew about that? Sure, he said he was going to die. But I didn't take it seriously. He said a lot of things that night. What night? About a month ago. We went out drinking. Simon got wasted. He started going off about how Mr. Yates wasn't listening to him and that people were going to suffer for it. He said something about how it was his own fault. Simon said that maybe he should just end it. End what? His life. Huh. I had no idea what he was talking about. And you didn't think to tell us this sooner? Like when he showed up dead? Bunch of drunken nonsense? It's not like he jumped into that vat. I mean, boiling pudding. There's easier ways to go. But none so revealing. What? What if this was Simon's Hail Mary? A way to expose the truth that he felt so guilty about. Well, so you think the man actually killed himself to lead us to the toxin? Well, if he did, it worked. The suicide version is looking more and more likely. The day before his death, Simon changed his will. He donated all his possessions to charity. He even gave away his pet turtle. Huh. And the scuff marks on the platform, he must have faked a struggle to make it look like a homicide. To keep us investigating the companies. Huh. Hello, Charlotte Richards. Charlotte, good news. It was a suicide. So no need to worry. You won't be representing any murderers. Charlotte just left. She went to meet some clients. Why do I get the feeling Charlotte's about to do something very stupid? 